In these problems, we're dealing with something called imaginary numbers. And that might seem a little bit strange to you, uh, to have numbers that are imaginary. But you've probably learned that you can't take the square root of a negative number, that that doesn't make sense. And in the world of what we call real numbers, that's true. But sometimes it's really useful to be able to do that. So mathematicians made up this thing called an imaginary number. And the imaginary number i is just the square root of negative 1. We don't know what that value is or how you would calculate it, so we just call it i. Now this first problem says express the square root of negative 43 in the form b times i, where b is a real number. The way to do that is to just factor negative 43. We're going to set that equal to negative 43 is negative 1 times 43. And the square root of negative 1 times 43 can be broken up into the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 43. And we just said square root of negative 1 equals i. So here's our i, and then what's left is our b. So if we want to put it in the form of b times i, we would say the square root of 43 times i. Let's try another one. This one says write the given expression in terms of i, and we've got the square root of negative 27. So I want to factor out that negative 1. And actually, while I'm at it, I could do some more factoring here. Uh, 27 is 3 times 9. I'm just going to go ahead and do that in one step. Now, this becomes the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of negative 1 is i. So that all adds up to 3 uh, times i. And then the square root of 3 we can't really do much with, so we can call this 3i times the square root of 3. Or if you want to put it in the other way around, you could call it the square root of 3 times 3i. I find it easier to put it out front. It gets less confusing about where the radical ends. So I'm going to choose this as my answer. All right, let's look at another one. We've got the square root of negative 98. So square root of negative 98, let's see if we can do some factoring. So I've got my negative 1, and then let's see, 98. Oh, that's 49 times 2. That's convenient. So this is times 2 times 49. So we've got this factored now. So that equals square root of negative 1 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 49. You know that the square root of 49 is 7. Square root of negative 1 is i. So this is all going to come out to 7 times i times the square root of 2. So that's a little introduction to i, the imaginary number. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.